So you're going to build a 700 bucks gaming PC in 2020? Well, that's awesome for you, because today we'd like to share how to get the maximum efficiency while staying within this specific budget. Having such amount is a blessing. Trust me, you will never regret the day when you decided to invest this amount into the beast. This build will function extremely smoothly in every aspect. Games will be able to run on higher graphic settings while keeping a very good frame rate. Oh, by the way, this build is great for streams and video editing. Are you ready for it? Destroy the like button and let's get started. We'd like to show you a very specific Ryzen 5 1600 AF processor that inspired us to build this PC. Despite the name, it is a new CPU that's only been on the market for a few months. The original Ryzen 5 1600 was released in April 2017 for 220 bucks. It was based on the original 14 nanometer Zen architecture. It's a 6 core 12 thread part clock at 3.2 GHz for the base with an all core boost clock of 3.4 GHz with a cooler Wraith Spire. But what is Ryzen 5? 1600 AF. Last year, a mysterious updated 1600 processor entered the market. The new AF version is Ryzen 5 2600 with a slight decrease in clock speed, and it can be identified by the part AF. It is not often that we see a new fabrication process backported to the previous generation, but AMD seems to have done that. Apparently, AMD didn't have enough 14 nanometer wafers available to keep producing the Ryzen 5 1600, so they have simply shifted the CPU to 12 nanometers and now they make a version of the CPU that they called the Ryzen 5 1600 AF and also complete it with a low-profile Wraith Stealth Cooler. At the time of shooting this video, the Ryzen 5 is not for that price on Amazon anymore. We see 148 bucks and we're not sure if the price is growing, but it's a very popular chip, third on Amazon's top seller list. Perhaps the recent global situation has caused supply issues? We're not sure. If you can find one for 85 bucks, that's great, but even with this price, the 1600 AF is competitive. As for alternatives, Intel Core i5 9400F remains the best one for the blue team right now. While performance is quite similar, the lack of hyper-threading means it will be a disadvantage in multi-threaded workloads. The links to all the components on Amazon are in the description so that you can build an optimal PC with maximum efficiency for the most little money. Because of quarantine, we were able to get only the processor and other components will be slightly different from those that we have recommended in the description. We'll use the Gigabyte B450 Gaming X motherboard. It's good, but if the budget is limited, it's not worth taking it. So you can find a good motherboard for 75 bucks. The main point is to choose a MOBO with 4 memory slots, which will help you to make an upgrade, because today we're gonna use only 8 gigs of RAM for maximum savings. It will be RAM Ballistic Sport 8 gigs kit for dual channel mode. It is an excellent memory and is not expensive. About $38. At the moment, 8 gigs is enough for almost all games in Full HD. As drives, we took 1TB Western Digital Blue HD for 40 bucks and SSD by Kingston HyperX for 120 gigabytes, which is not worth buying, of course, unless you want RGB illumination on this drive. Any SSD that you can afford will suit you. The average price of an SSD drive is about 30 bucks. We recommend the GTX 1660 Super Graphics card. We have a version from Gigabyte with two fans and they do a great job with cooling. But if you decide to take a version with one fan, it will be enough for cooling because the card itself is cold. The GPU is good for its price of 238 bucks. In terms of price and quality, there is no better graphics card for now. If you want to lower the price, you can find the used parts on the web. However, we recommend purchasing new parts covered by the warranty. For example, you can buy a GTX 1650 Super, which is the minimum in 2020. If you want a GPU by AMD, we recommend you to buy RX 5600 XT graphics card. It is a little bit more powerful than the GTX 6060 Super, but the price is higher. We're using Seasonic Focus Plus Gold 650 watts PSU, but for you we have found a very good Seasonic at 500 watts with a normal price on Amazon for 70 bucks. This power supply will perform well. We have chosen an awesome deep cool MacCube 310P as the case, very minimalistic, good looking with a tempered glass on the side panel. We're going to build our PC in this chassis, but you can choose any case you like. For today our main goal is not to show the perfect build. The most important thing for us in this video is to show you the full power potential of the 
the Ryzen 5 1600 AF, which is really interesting. Well, it's high time to build the PC. First of all, install the processor into the socket of the motherboard. The second step is to set the cooler. To do this, remove the standard mount and put the box cooler without it. Tiny it all with four screws. Now you're ready to go on. Insert RAM into the motherboard. We have two 4 GB sticks. Pull up the locks on the second and the fourth row. So we have a two channel mode. Then we decided to install the drives into the case. Here it has special fasteners for both hard drive and SSD. Secure the power supply unit with four bolts. Next, install the motherboard into the case. Don't forget to install this I.O. shield, otherwise you will have to take everything apart later. Then we start making cable management and connecting all the cables. The last step in any build is to install the graphics card. We fix it with one bolt, connect the power and the computer is ready to rock. So the launch of our monster went great. And we have good news. CPU Z really identifies this chip as the 12th nanometer Zen Plus Pinnacle Rich part. It's cool. The Sign bench showed us about 2700 points, which is almost the same result as Ryzen 5 2600. And we see that the only difference between these CPUs is their frequency. Ryzen 5 2600 has 3.2 GHz, Ryzen 5 1600F 3.2. We decided to record and test the game separately with high graphic settings in 1080p. Red Dead Redemption 2 Internal Performance Benchmark We set medium high graphic settings. Please pay attention to the graph that we have specially prepared for your convenience. And we see that our our PC is doing a great job in this game. Rainbow Six Siege. We set very high graphic settings and launch an eternal benchmark. This game surprised us by showing 119 FPS. Fans of this game will be happy. Battlefield 5, DirectX 11. This game is very demanding on the processor and we see that even at high graphic settings, our CPU still has a good potential. A 64 player map and our build continues to delight us. The game was enjoyable and very smooth. Forza Horizon 4 is one of the most beautiful games. We set ultra graphic settings. The game is perfectly optimized and looks just amazing. You can see that our FPS counter shows an average 108 frames. And this is a great result. Today PUBG is one of the most popular online games, and this time our FPS counter averaged 120 frames. The game behaved surprisingly smoothly, even without any lags. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the average FPS is 72. Of course we used an internal performance benchmark, and our beast won this battle. Doom Eternal is a new game in 2020. In story mode, the game shows us about 144 FPS, which means that the game is just perfectly optimized. Like the previous game, Call of Duty Warzone is a new project of this year. High graphic settings and real gameplay. If you're already tired of PUBG, CSGO or Fortnite, this game may be perfect for you. And FPS counter shows us 120 frames. By the way, what a joke, you can immediately see that the game is in beta test. We're flying straight on the asphalt for a few seconds. Metro Exodus high graphic settings, the counter shows 60 FPS. This is a victory, my friends. Our gaming build won all the battles. GTX 1660 Super fully lived up to its name. As a result, we're looking at GTX 1070-like performance in this title. And that's a 400 bucks GPU about three and a half years ago. Amazing progress. And welcome to 2020. On this chart, you can see all the other games we've tested for you. We didn't show them separately, because this video would be not as long as it could be.
So this 700 bucks gaming PC is a bang for the buck configuration that is tailored to get you into PC gaming without breaking the bank and leaving your wallet empty. The Ryzen 5 1600AF has impressed us. It's established itself as one of the best budget CPUs for budget conscious builders. The CPU runs like a champ. Post your comments down below and let us see what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe, click that red button and see you soon in the next video.